Hello everyone, thanks for taking the time to check out this video. In fact, my very first video on this channel. Uh, let me introduce myself first and tell you why I created this channel. My name's Ari and I've watched countless friends and younger cousins of mine playing games over the years and never really understood it. Not that I'm some old dude <laughs> sitting on the porch yelling at kids to get off my lawn. No, it just never really piqued my interest in sitting in front of a screen and playing games well until now. As many years have passed, I've seen and talked with people all around me, whether they are professionals, students, or some retired individuals I work with. I was talking to one of my students and found out that he plays video games, so I asked him why he plays video games, and he responded, I don't know, you just have to give it a try. It's a stress relief. And he's a health professional student, so it was kind of weird for me, I guess, where he had the time <laughs> to play video games. Anyway, I thought about what he said, the fact that it relieves stress. So I wanted to give it a go. As you can imagine, these days people have stress with all that's happening in the world. Anyway, I decided on uh, PC gaming because I was already familiar with PCs. Surprisingly, I built computers myself, which I acquired uh, back in my college days. Um, and the fact that I have a system already which has a uh, RTX 3080 Ti GPU and an, and an AMD 5950X CPU, I guess is a bonus. I know many of you might be already thinking like, is this guy for real? That's pretty high end for a beginner. But the truth is I actually uh, do video editing and photo editing in my spare time. So I guess this PC can kill two birds with one stone. Um, I just hope I grow into the PC as a casual gaming hobbyist rather than like think of myself as like some hotshot. Trust me, this is literally going to be my first time gaming. Um, yeah, so I don't think I'm some professional gamer with these nice specs and it's not going to turn me into like some pro. Anyways, the game I decided to start with is uh, Battlefield 2042. And you might be asking, like, why Battlefield 2042? It just reminded me of, like, my younger cousin a long time ago. He was playing Battlefield 3 or 4. Um, I'm not sure exactly which one it was, but I remember it was a Battlefield game. So I figured why not kind of start with that game since I was familiar with, like, the scenery. Um, so I guess, I mean, I took the chance <laughs> thinking it'll be fun. Um, anyway, uh, I did a little digging online on how to begin. I read a few manuals online and watched some uh, fantastic YouTube videos of both professionals and casual gamers and just got more interested into gaming. So here I'm starting my own channel, not to like really showcase my gameplay, but to ask for help from the gaming community and anyone who wants to put their two cents in on how I can, how I can improve, what typical things I can do to improve my gameplay. As I said, I want to um, have this as a stress relief rather than be work or anything. I just want to enjoy myself. Um, but at the same time, I do want to improve and not be like this noob forever. Um, anyway, so hopefully all who come across this video channel, please subscribe and follow my journey and help me improve. Any critique is welcome. So here goes. Hope you don't laugh too hard as I start. Happy gaming and enjoy life. satellite from falling into Russian hands. And the intel on board is all the excuse either side needs to send us straight to hell. We faced crises before, but no pads were born out of it. We are the warriors. We are the adaptation. And this fight is ours.
That's enough. I only have time to explain this once. Inside the combat zone, there are two opposing armies fighting to gain and then hold sectors. The fight continues until one side runs out of reinforcements and is forced to withdraw. That's it. Now, how do you gain sectors? You gain a sector by securing the objectives inside. To secure an objective, clear it of all hostiles. Once one side holds all the objectives inside a sector, it's there. Holding more sectors than the enemy causes them to bleed reinforcements. You bleed the other team to zero, and it's over. You take the field. Sure, you can light up hostiles and whittle down enemy reinforcements. But matches are won or lost by capturing sectors. Eyes on the prize, people. Move out! squads strategy is simple capture your objectives take control of the sectors and repel the enemy remember your training our troops are engaging in charlie one Shows no hostile presence. No pads, you are free to move on that objective. Take that position!
Bravo has been secured. Our forces control most sectors. Start securing sectors. Enemy has majority control. Do not leave the combat area or you will be extracted from the battle. Task force strength is noticeably down. assault by allied forces. Okay, I think I'm going to stop here now. Um, as you can see, this is truly my first time playing, and there is a ton of learning curve for me. I hope if you're watching and you do subscribe, please leave some comments and let me know how to get better. Uh, or what you saw in the short uh, video, what I'm doing wrong. I would definitely like to um, get your input. Again, thank you for watching, and I do hope you subscribe and take that journey with me. Take care. See you in the next one.